That's so dope. So you sold out the Fabulous Forum? Yeah. The one down the street? Yeah. I, I mean, don't... yeah. The way they sat it, I sold it up. That's heavy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> don't sat it in my ass. That motherfucker sold out. Yeah. I mean, Kevin Hart could do it in the round, and they would have to then <laughs> add a next night at the Staples Center, but... Um, yeah, we had the stage on one side and then went around. I, and I'm not gonna lie to you, like that was, uh, that was one of the uh, great nights. And I got this thing, I grew up playing drums, like I wanted to be a musician first. And um, I wasn't good enough, obviously, so I failed at that, but I still, I still play. Right. And uh, so whenever I play an arena like that, just cause you know, I'm a big Zeppelin fan and all these big bands that play there, I always like, Early, we go down, I rent a drum kit and all that, and we jam inside of it. And the sound in there, which I'm sure you perform there, like, now that it's not a basketball arena... It's rocked and it's, the fuck it's, out. It's unbelievable. It's rocked the fuck out in there. Because I've done other ones where they still play sports in them, mm -hmm. and, and your, your jokes are, like, going past you, and it's, it's, you kind of have to slow down. But the forum, I mean, I felt like I was at the comedy store, like the main room, but it was... Uh, they built that yeah. shit like that. That, that yeah. building was built like that. Know that. Yeah. Wow. Classic. I know. I miss that place. I, I hate the Staples Center. I know. It's too bright. And it's also a have and have nots place. I yeah. feel like they put all the real fans way, way up the top. fuck up. Like, like and, way the fuck up. And then, <laughs> like and then the, fake hair, the fake hair fans are on the floor. Yeah, on the floor. You got to go on my basketball court. Oh, know, my God. See it on the picture My only the question wall? is, what happens if you drive hard to the bucket? I mean, that wall is, like, right there. That's what it's there for, this hood ball. Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> no fouls. Well, when you play cul-de-sac ball, <clears throat> call me down half court. You see, you see the, did you see the only white guy on the wall? I looked. Was that Larry? Larry motherfucking well, yeah, legend. Good. He made it. He made it. He fucking made it. <laughs> Larry legend made it on this motherfucker. That's hard to make my wall of fame. Larry yeah. made it. And as a Celtic, that's on a... That's a bad motherfucker. Two my levels. Whole, my whole childhood, I hated that motherfucker. And when I finally met him, I told him, I said, Larry, I love you so much, I hate you. Because yeah. you was the greatest motherfucker set shot shooter I ever seen in my life. Yeah, yeah, I he know. Was. He really had 1960s games. That motherfucker... <laughs> That's what Everybody. I was the best thing yeah. about it. Yeah. Is he was beating black guys with like a 1961 game. <laughs> he did. He, he wearing did like have a whole ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the only thing he needed was that, 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 that underhanded. Fuck. Yeah, you know what I love too is he wouldn't dunk. Never. He'd still come in and he would just do lap. And then the only time he would dunk is if he had to. And I think he did it one time against the. Uh, the Pistons. That was the team I hated more. I hated more than the Lakers. I never forget when I was when I was younger. And I think NBA Jams was out mm -hmm. and playing with Larry Bird and trying to get him to dunk. Y'all probably, I don't know if y'all remember that, man. That's old school, man. I think it was NBA Jams. Yeah, it was NBA Jams. Yep, that was in the 90s. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Because the Lakers. You're talking about the bad boys. Yeah. I, some of them were bad boys. The rest of them were punks. When they walked out against the, 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 the Bulls, Bulls. You ain't like that? No. If I, you didn't lose, e I didn't either, but I thought it was some gangster shit because it's like, no, fuck it wasn't. Fuck y'all. Y'all ain't shit. Y'all. That was the basketball equivalent if I keyed my landlord's car. <laughs> That's the same. But, you, but you, fucking, they, you take a loss, you take a but loss. But what they knew was that the rain was know. over. They knew that them niggas was going to run it for a while. Remember, Michael, after that, Jordan so what, did they lose. have to go and cry about it? It was over. Just the way he, Isaiah kind of was going out <laughs> like that with his head pulled But what in. did they do to him? It they just, left him off the Olympic team for that. Remember that. Did you see the look of disgust on Michael Jordan's face? He was hurt. That no, he wasn't. He lost all respect. I, I would have been. I would have gone. He was hurt because he actually had respect for them because they made him better. And when they did that to him, he lost all respect for them. Okay, cool. we're kind of saying the same thing. What, but if another man yeah. ever looks at you like that, I mean, you have to just stop in your tracks. Jordan didn't allow him to play on the dream team. How the fuck yeah. did I come in the league after you? Don't right. Look, I'm not talking about Rick Mahorn. I'm talking that about, guy was. I, yeah, I'm not talking. He was a dog. Shit. Yeah, that guy. A straight dog. But and Lamb Beard was a dog. Dude, that guy's hilarious. I saw him one time on those He's fucking a basketball those, those for NBA girls. classics, and he was going like, <laughs> you know, we used to try to play a mind game, and it just cuts to him just taking people's legs out and punching <laughs> them. Like, Dude, you, 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 you're really not a lot of levels. So you're just waiting to guys leave. If that's what he was on 18, they'd be like, okay, Bill, you can't shoot good, you can't do much shit, but go fuck somebody up. Yeah. Sure. No, I will say, Bill Lambert, top of the key, yes. he made that shot yeah, every ugly fucking ass. time. Ugly ass Nothing shot. Nothing but net. Every fucking time. He had, I, don't, I feel like he went to practice and he just stood there, <laughs> and the rest of the time he fucking threw elbows. Like, that was his game. <laughs> so, man, he was watching the same shit.
I, I can't watch it anymore. It's too easy. You know who's going to be you there. Know, you know what I hate? I hate when on Instagram when they show a dunk now. They always play this music like it's the shit. And, like, first of all, nobody's even allowed to be underneath. Even defense is not allowed to be there. And the second the guy goes down the lane, people clear out. Move out the way. Because they don't want to be part of the Instagram. But I feel like you should get, like, there should be a, uh, you know, Miami uh, uh, Hurricanes do the turnover chain. Yeah, yeah. There should be something for somebody who actually goes up and tries to block To try to block it, you give, him, give him an award. For having heart, because our era comes from you going you gonna have to dunk on me. I don't believe you. I'm you know, one of my favorites of yeah. all time ever, yeah. Xavier McDaniel. Motherfucking double reverse re from the uh, Supersonics. I remember one time, like when he got into fights, he didn't try to. He tried to kill you. And I, there was a picture in the Boston Globe. I remember. <laughs> that was the guy on the ground like that, and he was down on one knee and just had both hands around him. He's gonna choke him to death. <laughs> the Knicks. He was mad. The Knicks were like, I, <laughs> Larry, are you? Was he angry? <laughs> he, yes, he was. Dang, I didn't realize they got like that mad. Darn, bro. Like the last, really last uh, physical. Were you in them? Yeah, when they when they had uh, Mason, yeah, Mason, Oakley, and, yeah, Mason and Oakley, just those two guys alone, um, they was hard. And I like Harper too. Harper was hard, little guard. I got a good Oakley story that I'll tell you after this shit. Okay, we'll yeah. wait. I like yeah. him too. He's a cold guy. Too. Yeah, he no, punk, he, he's, he punked one of my homies in real life. One of my homies sat in his seat at an All Star game. That motherfucker was like, "Get out my motherfucking seat." <laughs> Damn, listen, get out my motherfucking seat. Uh, that was, man, that motherfucker ain't playing. Get out of his seat. That was, don't sit over there. Get that out of here. That's the tone of the story. I, I was involved and I just saw it and I was just like, that is not an act. No, he for real. Yeah. Hi, I'm your weather girl for today. Reporting live from Dickey, North, Carol North Dakota, I mean. Um, make sure your dicks are out today. Um, Hey. I forgot what I was. No, stupid too much. I was not expecting that. Oh, MG. <laughs> like, oh, I forgot. I was going to say. I'm going to say. You were on the other side of the country watching the exact same, same shit, TV exactly. I was watching. We had How one TV, that motherfucker was in the living room. Mama went to, went to church or whatever she went to, we was turning that motherfucker whatever we wanted to watch. All right, you want to hear how cheap one of my brothers was? I was living with him, my first apartment, we were living... It was this old ass fucking, like, look like a haunted house. And this guy had somehow converted the attic into an apartment. It was totally fucking illegal. No fire escape, nothing. And remember those little ass, like a kitchen TV? Yeah, but it was. A, but it was a color TV. So when he bought it, it was like 300 bucks because it was like state of the art technology. So it was 88 <laughs> when I was living there, and the Lakers and the Pistons were in the finals. Mm. And I wanted to watch that, and he wouldn't let me watch his fucking TV, Aww. right? Because he didn't want me taking life off of the tube. Oh, wow. That's how fucking she was the fucking Fuck. NBA finals. That's crazy. So I remember, oh, like, I had, like, the, like, uh, the window open, obviously, because it was hot as shit. And I was also listening for him to pull up. Unfortunately, it was a gravel driveway. So I could hear the tires of his car pulling up. And I was watching the fucking game with, like, the sound down and shit, like, trying to listen yeah, to Dick Stockton. And, Dick and I heard him <laughs> coming up the driveway. So I shut this shit off. And this fucking dude came in like uh, Columbo. He just fucking detective. No, looking at me. He just came in. He just touched the back of the fucking and TV. And that motherfucker was like, oh, "That was it. We ended up getting a fight. I had to fight him. <laughs> I had to fight him." And he, he tried to charge me extra rent for like the fucking. I was just like, I watched like a fucking quarter and a half. Like, how, how much is that? How much are you? Get fourteen dollars. He said the motherfucker touched the back of the TV. He said, "Oh no, we got to fight." No, he didn't say anything. There was no words needed. He just looked at me, looked at the TV, walked over and touched it, and then fucking charged me. <laughs> No. That is so wrong. <laughs> the TV is this long. Oh, no. Arms length. Ah! 
Oh my God, that's um, terrible. Yep. Once wow. again, it's on. Oh no. Tell me about the uh, all things that's comedy. Right. They say you co-created that. Yeah, it's uh, it started off with a podcast network. As podcasts were growing, and all that, you know, what usually happens. The artists create the scene, and then the businessman comes in and says, "Oh, look what you created. All right, I'm gonna own it." And, but I'm gonna get you all this exposure, and then when you're 80, you're still gonna have to tap dance in a dirty tuxedo, and I'm gonna be <laughs> laying on a yacht making mailbox money. Please. So we were like, fuck that. There's no, especially with the internet, there's, you don't have to go to these people anymore. Right. They can come to you yep. now, so we created it. We circled the wagons and got all the top podcasts that we could, and then we all promoted each other's shit, and then now that's turned into we have a deal with Comedy Central where we shot uh, three stand-up specials, um, signed a, a three pic, uh, three um, stand-up special deal. We did one with Paul Verzi, Jessica Carson, and Ian Edwards. Um, Paul Verzi just came out, broke all their streaming yes. records on uh, Comedy Central, and um, now we got a couple of TV shows in the works. So, yeah, that's my little um, that's fire. thing that I do on on the side where uh, I do it with Al Madrigal and our whole goal is to help comics, you know, get to that next level and actually still own their shit. Right, and not have to sacrifice. Yeah, it's like a co-op. It was a very difficult thing to try to put together. Mm -hmm. Changing the game, man. you know what it is, it's business now. Yeah. You gotta be business over everything. <laughs> Inside the smoker studio, everyday people, aka real nigga shit. I'm gonna ask you some questions. I need you to answer. What's the first thing you do when you think of? Wait, a minute, I ain't seen this shit in a minute. <laughs> 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 get my shit back right. Okay. What's the first thing you do or think when you wake up? Oh, all the shit I have to do. I guess I don't have a, a thought. Hot or cold? Cold. Tacos or hamburgers? Hamburgers. Ass or titties? Ass. What are your favorite pair of shoes of all time? Ooh. You know what? Adidas Country. For real? Do you remember those? Fuck yeah. The white with the green. I'm um, with Adidas right and, now. And they keep... They keep they, almost making it right. And they don't fucking make it right. They, they, don't make it. they did in the early 2000s. I still have almost. them. They're dirty as hell. They look like a, like Bruce Jenner, like through the javelin with them. <laughs> What's your favorite cereal of all time? All right. You Mom, want adult lucky or charms. kids? I'm talking about, go back Cheerios. to being a kid, oh, man. Being a kid. I need that Cheerios. Look at that. Right. <laughs> Why you give me that look? The heart healthy cereal? <laughs> no, not the plain ones. The honey nut, babe. Who grew up? Favorite cereal <laughs> is Honey Nut Cheerios. Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me, y'all. Don't judge me. Honey Nut Cheerios. Mine. My mama didn't no buy the Count Cap Chocolates. My mama didn't buy the Captain Crunch and no, all that sugar no cereal. Soul. No. And when you and your money, Rice Krispies. And your money ran short. You had some 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 count some um some some count some. some I think I can count the number of times she bought Captain Crunch and the like fruit, and all that. You get the fruity old. That lucky that money low. What is Lucky Charms? That that was the worst tasting cereal. Ah! It's a marshmallow. <laughs> oh, no, marshmallow. I'm like that. This has got so much sugar. And when you I ran out of milk, die as a kid. When you ran out of milk. You eat them. Eat them. Ah, uh, gross, y'all. Uh, this when, new cereal ain't what it used to be. When I was a kid, cereal. Oh, it was a top. I liked the monster <laughs> cereal. I was. I liked Count Chocula and Booberry. I liked ah, uh, Booberry. Booberry. Yuck. Milk. Brown. Shit. Brown. Yeah, I like that. But <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> he can't get it past his thoughts. Oh, uh, this might be a. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It turned the milk chocolate. baby blue. It was good. And it had the more smells in it. It's all inherently wrong, though, if you think about it. Sugar. It is, but yeah. we didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Was, that shit blew our mind seeing that commercial. See what I hate it? Fucking cookie, cookie crisp. crisp. You didn't like cookie oh, crisp? I like because cookie when crisp. one of those turns sideways and you bit down, it would cut oh, the roof of your oh, mouth. Oh, that's right. Like somebody... That's right. And it was painful. I cannot stand cookie crisp. And then, you know, you eat one and it, it didn't cut the roof of your mouth, but then you still eat it, but now you got this cut up here. And stabbed you in the roof of your mouth. Ugh. It would affect how you talked in school, Ugh. like for the first three my periods. My shit was bleeding one day when I bit that motherfucker sideways. Yeah. 
I, think, um, I thought you would have fucked with like some <laughs> Cap'n Crunch, Fruit Loops. Yeah. Cap'n I like Fruit Loops. Loops, but those were basic. You had to go. Yeah, you had to so like. Sugary. You had to go a little off the grid. The monster Digging smacks. Lucky Charm. Oh, a little frog. Yeah, sugar. I ain't like them sugar smacks. Yeah, man. I didn't either. <clears throat> they tasted weird to me. Lucky Charms. Ah, uh, those were all right. What the? F you're going way back. Remember Honeycomb? Honeycomb. Uh, honeycomb, my favorite yeah, yeah, to this yeah. day. It's to this day. day. Remember all those ugly Come kids in that commercial? Come to the Honeycomb Hideout. What job you ever had? Oh, God. Um, I worked at a restaurant that was slowly going out of business. And <laughs> I was so bad with money. Like, <clears throat> I was a busboy. And then the grill chef quit. And they go, hey, do you want to do that, too, for like another 50 cents an hour? And I was like, oh, boy, would I? I wasn't thinking they were paying him five bucks an hour. And I was getting 350. I should at least got, you know, another five bucks. So I was so I would have like my busboy thing on and I would be and I was like on a mesky grill glassed in and I would be fucking watching these people because I had to bust the table and I would like duck down like a like a fucking superhero and I'd come back go, go down as a chef and come back up as a busboy. <laughs> <laughs> and I fucking had to wash the dishes. Then the dishwasher quit and I was doing all three of those fucking jobs. I swear to God for like five bucks an hour. 